Hold on, let's back up for a bit here. Hey guys, it's Sal here and we tried to almost destroy the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 and here's why and here's what happened. When the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 was launched, they talked about how durable it was. They even made an ad with people stepping all over it, coins scratching it and them using it as a chopping board. Well, I have the Note 7 right here and in this video, we're going to be seeing how durable it is with a drop test, a knife test and other durability tests to also see how it holds up in everyday use and some more ridiculousness on top of it. Let's dive in. Also guys, I made my review video and you can check it out with the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get to it. As you can see on the device, there's barely any major scratches, just a few micro scratches from my daily use for over a long period of time. So the first test we're going to do is the knife scratching or stabbing test. And this was what Xiaomi demoed on their launch day here in Nigeria. So now that the stab test is done, we can see that the entire device shows almost no damage and if you look closely with the lights reflecting, you will see almost no damages or any scratches at all and with my eyes, I can also see that there isn't much of a damage on the Gorilla Glass 5 on here. I'll do a scratch test with this as well and I have a few keys here, I'll use them to scratch it vehemently. We also don't have much visible signs as well. I also incorporate a hammer dropping test on it. I dropped this from a few inches high up and there's still not many visible signs on this guy. Speaking of visible signs, a place where you scratch to find it is on the side of the Note 7. The side is made of coated plastic and when it is scratched, it peels. Also guys, please do not try any of these at home, it would void your warranty on your phones. Alright, so we're done with the lightweight stuff and it is confirmed the Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back is kind of safe and dare I say scratch resistant. Only drawback for this device is on the side which would scratch as you've seen. However, in terms of longevity, the fact that there's durable glass on both the front and the back really helps. Now we're going to be going into the drop test. So for the drop test, I'm going to be doing some practical drops. Um, drops like when you are making a phone call and maybe someone hits you and the phone drops or when the phone is coming out from your pocket and it drops or when it's on a table and it drops. Um, I'll be doing all of that and some extra tests. And before I go on guys, I was just announced as the first music bed ambassador in Africa and that is a huge win for all of us, especially in this community. For those who don't know, Musicbed is actually one of the best music platforms for content creators and video creators in general. You can get quality music for your projects, for your videos, anything you're doing on YouTube. And you can actually use songs from real artists and real producers and it just starts at $9.99 which is like 3,600 Naira which is just less than Netflix. All you have to do is just click the link displayed here or in the description and you get a 30 day free trial. Now we get to the drop test. For the drop test, I tried to create a scenario where I made a phone call which is kind of typical and maybe someone hits you or you get distracted and your phone falls, which is a reasonable height for the device to fall. So here it goes. For the first test, the device did quite fine. The next scenario was the device falling from the pocket level, which has happened to me before, and here's how that went. The last scenario is a drop test from a table, and say you want to charge a device and it mistakenly falls, here is how that went. Ah, 
as far as all the drop tests i did which numbered a total of about nine drop tests the device still felt quite fine and was very usable the only chips i found were in the plastic section and they weren't too deep again do not attempt any of this before we get into the bend test, I must mention that the size of this phone is made of plastic and a little aluminium on the inside while the front and the back are made of Gorilla Glass 5. Because it's plastic, it will bend so you have to be very careful in terms of handling and having to rest on the phone for a long period of time. So as you can see here, the No5 will survive a knife test, it will survive a scratch test and some impact, but it won't really survive a bend test. Guys, I really did my best to try to bend this phone with some actual effort and it didn't go too far. If you do something like sit on your phone for too long, you might actually get a little curve just like I did. But other than that, it's actually quite durable and you can see here, it's still very usable. I must say that this is probably the most durable phone I've used. And that's pretty much it for this durability test of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to see any new video I drop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.